This is a last minute tips video on maths paper 2 and 3. I'm not going to be making a paper 3 video because paper 2 and 3 in maths are just the same thing. They're both the calculator exams. You should have an idea of where you're at now after paper 1. A lot of people have been saying that that first paper was very bad in terms of the last couple of questions. That's usually the case to be honest. I've found that with paper 1 it's usually very very bad near the end but papers 2 and 3 usually redeem themselves. The tips I have for maths paper 2 and 3 are pretty much the same as I have with paper 1. Right? It's all about your topics and making sure that they're each and individually as strong as possible. Now after paper one, you should have more of an idea of what's going to come up in paper two and three. If a question didn't come up as a really big chunky question, it very well still has a chance of coming up again. So don't neglect anything, but it's a bit easier to now figure out what things you should revise for. If there's one big area that just hasn't come up at all, you're going to be getting a juicy, juicy question on that. So think about it a bit logically, but at the same time, if you know there's a topic area that you just are rubbish at, please, please, please go over it and make sure that you aren't as rubbish at it anymore and make sure that there's no individual areas that are of weakness. You want to push everything up as much as possible and if you don't know how to do that it's all about finding questions specific to that topic and improving on them individually. So as I said in my last video go to Maths Genie, look at all the different topics there and improve on them one by one but if you're already well past that and you know how to do all the topics and you know how to do all those difficult questions I recommended looking at in the last video I would say go back over the topics that you haven't looked at in a long time because there's probably a few topics in there that you know but you just haven't looked at it in a while that you might have forgotten how to do them or there's just one area in it that you might not remember you don't want to be going into your exam and then seeing a question on something and being like I remember being able to do it but now I can't remember what to do for it right open up a list of topics and see if there's any things that you haven't done in a while go back over those and just make sure that you aren't rusty with them make sure you polish up those topics as well and yeah that's it really there's not much additional stuff I can say for the next paper it's more about improving on your weaknesses from the last paper and to just do as many questions as you can that's really it for these papers but now you need to lock in you need to go do your questions and trust me you'll be fine you don't have lots of time so it's about focusing on those weak areas but if you do that you'll put yourself in a good position you don't need to worry as much so good luck and i'll see you very soon i hope bye